Hi, I'm Aaron from Falls Vacuum. This is how we change a hose kit on a Rug Doctor Mighty Pro X3. If your hoses look like that, they split and they break. I'm going to buy a hose conversion kit. Yeah. In your kit, you'll receive instructions. Two of these fittings. There's an A and a B fitting. Two of these rubber gasket fittings and they are the same and two hoses. Step one is to cut the existing vacuum hose near the dome elbows. I just cut it where it's broken. This one we can do by the elbow. Just use whatever knife you can get. Step two is to swing the hood open and remove the short piece of hose from the elbows and get rid of them. So they are kind of sealed in. So you may find that pliers will help you get a better grip on the hose, but they just thread in and out. Apparently these are So these ones are glued, so when they're glued, which is not usual, just pull on the, the wire that's in the hose. It's a good thing we got the pliers. But generally these are not glued, but apparently this one is. Step three is to insert the elbow adapters into the elbows. Do not use silicone, adjust to leave approximately two full threads exposed. So these are actually pretty sticky. So, take some soap, some WD-40, something to make it slippery. It will be much easier. And install it, see how we see one, two, two rungs. It should be pretty close. Then soap, WD-40, just don't go overboard. Alright, the next we are to do steps four through six for one side and repeat for the other. Step four is to remove the hose retainers from the main housing. Remove the two piece grommets from the hose. So I like to use two flathead screwdrivers. You could work your way around. Um, but I find if you. Can get under there on both sides and then you can just pop it out. And then the two piece grommet. Just pry it out. You can see the piece stayed in there. At that point, there is an A and a B side, and you probably can't see it on the camera, but there is the letter B is inscribed, and the letter B is stamped in. So what we will do is we will screw this hose on. You could use the two included hoses if you would need to. You want the connector to be outside so you can 
read the letter B right side up. At this point, push in your fitting and we will repeat for this side. I'm holding the hose to keep it from falling in. Okay, so we're going to spin this. The A is legibly upside. It's kind of wider and you can just Push it in. Now I have had these where they are difficult to push in. In that case, what I will do, if you're having trouble, you can take a piece of wood, make sure it is flat and you can hit it in with a hammer if you need to. Just make sure you are flat against it so it's not going into an angle and it is lined up so you do not break the fitting. The final step is to ensure it has a good fit. So just by testing here is not good enough. Uh, we need to put in the tank, close the lid. Then we will plug in the machine and we will test that it has a good seal. We are going to feel that it has a good seal. When you operate the machine, we're going to remove this back hose. And I'm going to plug it up with my hand and I should feel a good solid suction. solid suction I'm not hearing any leaking air and uh, the tank is kind of flexing in the hood is sucking in so it's got a good tight seal so it looks like we're done now we can open the top of our rug doctor completely if you ever feel like you're experiencing a loss of suction um, you can always check these fittings make sure they have two rungs make sure they're making a good fit they could become uh, out of place at a later date one final note, we did not need to use these hoses. Oh, they're there if you need them, but you don't necessarily need them all the time. Thank you. I'm Aaron from Falls Vacuum. Thanks for watching. Hi, I'm Aaron from Falls Vacuum. This is how we change a hose kit on a Rug Doctor Mighty Pro X3. If your hoses look like that, they split and they break. I'm going to buy a hose conversion kit. Yeah. In your kit, you'll receive instructions, two of these fittings, there's an A and a B fitting, two of these rubber gasket fittings and they are the same and two hoses. Step one is to cut the existing vacuum hose near the dome elbows. I just cut it where it's broken. This one we can do by the elbow. 
use whatever knife you can get 